Moving on, Chinese vessel Xi'an 6 docked in Colombo this week despite numerous concerns that were posed by India that believed the ship to be a spy ship. Meanwhile, the 25th round of border talks between China and Bhutan also kicked off this week, further exacerbating the concern of China's growing influence in the region. Here's more. It's finally here. Xi'an 6, that China calls a research vessel, has finally docked at the Colombo port. A crew of 60 is designated to carry out oceanography, geology and marine ecology tests. Chinese officials say the boat will survey Sri Lanka's exclusive economic zone and the southern Indian Ocean. Though the Ruhana University that was to carry out the research says it is now not part of the program. India sees red. A Chinese spy boat here to snoop on Indian military assets in the Indian Ocean around Sri Lanka and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. New Delhi's concerns emanate from China seemingly already encircling India on three sides through ports that it controls. Ports in Chittagong in Bangladesh, Hambantota in Sri Lanka and Gwadar in Pakistan mark strategic access for Chinese vessels close to New Delhi's naval commands. On Xi'an 6 in Colombo, Sri Lanka insists it is taking India's concerns on board. But it maintains that it cannot stop Chinese vessels from docking if standard procedures are followed. Two versions on permission for Xi'an 6 had come out of Sri Lanka in the past, one saying yes, the other saying deliberations were on. What comes out eventually now is Sri Lanka being open to China's presence in the region. India's China problems don't stop there. New Delhi is keeping close watch as China works with Bhutan to settle their boundary row and move towards establishing formal diplomatic relations. China gaining control over the entire Doklam Plateau means huge strategic advantage against India. A statement issued after the 25th round of Sino-Bhutan talks said measures would be finalized at an early date. All signs that the China shadow in South Asia will be a central part of Indian geostrategy ahead.